Hi everyone, it's Kate and I'm super excited to be with you this week for a new style of video. Uh, this week I have been kindly asked by the lovely Morag Cuts over at Bramble Fox to be um, a guest designer for February, um, which was an absolutely wonderful opportunity and I was really, really grateful that she contacted me. Um, I, do, I do have, as always, I, I'm always the one to put myself under lots and lots of pressure um, because I moan about it, but I absolutely love having a million things to do. Um, but I had an exam this month, February is the shortest month of the year. I've got lots of other design team products um, to do, but I absolutely could not resist um, the opportunity to be on this design team for Bramble Fox um, because the products are so, so stunning and I've uh, followed them for a long time. Um, so I was very, very lucky to receive a box, um, the February Fox box in the post, which was packaged beautifully um, and it's full of these gorgeous laser cut um, acrylic embellishments, which you just have to see these in the flesh if you haven't already because they're just really are stunning and they really make a scrapbook page really pop um, and th there's nothing else like it that I've seen on the market. They are the perfect embellishment just to make your scrapbook page pop and really really stand out. Um, so what I've done is I've just gone with my background I've just got a white piece of um, Brazil cardstock and I have pulled out some of my distress oxides um, in two colours one a Victorian velvet which is the pinky colour that you can see um, and a frayed burlap as well um, which I did mix the fried burlap is like a, a brownie colour but I did mix that with some of my cosmic shimmer um, pixie powders which I just find it hilarious that they're called pixie powders um, but I use those in rich gold gold mint and plum twist so you just sort of saw what I did there I used the packaging technique um, I just activated the products with water and just splash those on I do lots and lots of um, splattering with a paintbrush as well so I just loosen them up even more with a bit of water and just um, really go to town with it and then I just dry in between layers with my heat tool just to make sure that the colours don't merge together. Um, so I have um, been dying to use this, it's a really old collection that I used for this scrapbook layout um, and it's a collection called um, One Canoe Two. I'm definitely guilty of hoarding this paper collection um, just because I thought it was too, too pretty to use. But now is the time that I have to get it out and have to use it. Otherwise, it'll just sit in my cupboard forever and a day um, and it will never get um, find its way onto a layout. Um, so, yeah, so I pulled that out. So I've got the paper collections and some embellishments with that as well. Um, so I'm just going to I've just matted my photo onto one of the darker colours and I am just put it, putting it on some white tissue paper and that lovely gold um, gold flex spotty paper as well um, just as the focal point for my picture um, then what I'm going to do that gorgeous 12 by 12 paper is probably um, my favorite in the whole collection um, so I'm just going to go and do some fussy cutting just so as I can layer some of these, these floral designs around the picture Then I just take some bits and pieces um, that I've got lying around. So what I like to do is in the in my set of drawers that's literally on the right hand side of me, right within arm's reach, is I just keep lots of things that I find um, that I use on lots of layouts. Um, one being those, well, the tag that I used was um, a tag that I'd got left over from Christmas. I just made loads of those um, with some craft uh, card so I pulled one of those out and then the the other little tag that I've nestled in that's more to the right I like to print lots of these style tags out on my silhouette software and I just keep a load of those because I think I find that I use those on almost every layout and I just keep a stash of those um, in my cupboard the same with that um, those leaves as well I think they're really handy to have printed out and again I think I just found that design on the silhouette software so I've just got loads of those um, so the main focal piece that I'm using from the Bramble Fox box is that gorgeous pink XOXO um, which it just it really is stunning and it complements this collection perfectly um, so I've just used that and then the main title I'm using the um, the white acrylic embellishment which says this matters which is in a gorgeous font um, and it just really looks nice. It looks nice. I sort of keep it sort of white on white on the background. But because it's so chunky and it really, really makes it stand out against everything else. 
And what I also didn't realise quite late on in the layout was that there is actually a protective layer on those embellishments that if you peel off, um, so they, I thought the, the, the surface finish was like a dull finish, which I thought was quite nice anyway. But once you peel that protective layer off, you get this incredible shiny surface um, that really catches the light and really looks stunning. Um, so that was a pleasant surprise as well. Um, so to finish the layout, I've just, um, I'm gluing everything down now that I'm happy, uh, with where I've placed all of the embellishments. Um, I did some journaling and I just used, um, some gold Nouveau drops just as finishing touches. Uh, this layout came together really, really quickly again, um, especially with that, that gorgeous embellishment focal point that we've got in the acrylic embellishments from Bramble Fox. If you haven't checked those uh, products out, guys, I really would recommend it because they really, really are stunning. Um, and I will leave you to watch the rest of the video. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, if you could give this video a like and subscribe to this channel, that would be much appreciated. And I will speak to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.